In this video, we'll show you how the Data Pipeline Orchestrator works. The DPO is a pipeline manager application integrated with an advanced observability platform to analyze real-time data without the need to code in a plug-and-play manner. It provides an intuitive and easy-to-use solution for data quality and data analytics. The DPO tool integrates the functionalities of Apache Streampipes, a popular open-source pipeline manager toolbox used to create pipelines that perform data quality operations on real-time data and Grafana, a fully managed observability open source platform for applications and infrastructure used to create dashboards to display real-time data and the results of the pipeline's operations on the data. Both, connected via InfluxDB, have been extended with custom-made tools that perform needed operations for the Kyclos projects. Now let's begin with our data pipeline orchestrator demonstrations. Logging in into Streampipes is quite simple. You just need to input the username and password that the admin has provided you. Upon entering stream pipes we find ourselves into the home page. Here you can check the number of pipelines that have been created with this user and that are currently running. You can check also the number of notifications if any and the total number of available pipeline elements. Going down we can see some shortcuts which will take us to the different parts of the system depending on what operation we want to perform. The same shortcuts are always available in the side tab. In case a new adapter need to be created, simply click on the adapter tab. This will open up a page showing all the previously created and running adapters, which are in the system. If you want to create a new adapter click on the new adapter button. Here you can select which kind of adapter you want to create. We can also see two custom adapters, which are exclusive for the Kyclos project. Let's create one. That will connect to Kyclos backend. First we need to provide all the required information to be able to connect to the backend, such as username and password. Then we need to select which kind of data we want to pull from it and how fast the pulling needs to be. Once the adapter is created, it will be available in the list of the available adapters. Once our adapter has been created, we can use it to create a new pipeline. We go to the pipeline page. Here we can see all the created pipelines and which are currently running. To create a new one, simply click on new pipeline, a new clean canvas will open. Here we can drag and drop the different components that we need to create our pipeline. A pipeline is composed of three principal components, a data source, a data processor and a data sync. All these components can be found here on the left. A data source provides the pipeline with data. Here we can see some existing data sources. A data processor allows to perform different operations on the data coming from the data sources. Some data processors have been created for Kyclos and show the Kyclos icon. Finally, we need to decide where to send the results of our operations. The data sync allows us to connect to different services or to just save them on an internal database. Creating a new pipeline is really simple. We select which components to use and we drag them on the canvas. Let's create a pipeline that uses Pindos data. We select which one we want and drop it on the canvas. Next, we select a data processor to perform some operations on the data. We take a component which tracks the power consumption per day, week and month. Drag it on the canvas. We decided to save the results on the internal database. So we select the data lake component and drag it onto the canvas. We connect all these components to form our pipeline. Every time a component is connected to the next, a window will appear. Here we can select and input the desired parameters for the components. In this case, the name of the influx DB table in which the data will be saved is entered, so that the data can be displayed in the dashboard at a later time. Finally we save, name the pipeline, and we run it. The system will take us back to the pipeline page, where we can see our already started new pipeline and observe if it is currently running. We can check the metrics to see if data is flowing through the people line and also perform quick edits to adjust it. The final component of our pipeline orchestrator are the dashboards. We use Grafana as our dashboard manager. The login credentials are the same as stream pipes. Once we are logged, we are taken to the home page. We expand the left tab and click on dashboard. Here we can create a new dashboard to display the results of the previously created pipeline. We click on new dashboard and a canvas for our dashboard will open. 
Here we can add different visualizations for our data. First we select from where this data will be fetched. Then we can select the time range and write a query to fetch our data. Finally we can give a title to our panel or visualization. If we are happy with it we can save and name our dashboard. Then we are redirected to the dashboard, where we can visualize in real time the result of our pipeline operations, edit it, or add another panel. That's the end of the demonstration. Thank you for listening to this brief presentation of the Data Pipeline Orchestrator.